Little YouTube trick. Turn your microphone on before you do the video. Yeah, okay. Anyway, the second time I've done this. Uh, I'm enjoying this view right now. I've definitely seen some beautiful, amazing panoramic views while I've been here in Sicily. I've also seen an amazingly small quantity of people. Uh, I think because of the weather, everyone's staying inside, unless there's a, some memo I didn't get that everybody's on vacation. <laughs> anyway, uh, well, that's nice, no? The communities themselves, there are a few. I've, I've driven for an hour uh, or two, and I've only seen maybe three very small communities. And so, like, you can see this is... This is the road I've been driving on, and actually one of the more decent ones. You can see down here, there's like one farm. And every once in a while, you'll see a house. But overall, living here is the, the country life. As far as a, a vacation home, you can come up here and enjoy some serious peace and quiet. If you want to find a, a property surrounded by, for example, um, olive trees, there are plenty. But as far as the one euro houses, those are usually in, a, in the main communities where it's a lot more um, rustic and uh, adventurous. <laughs> more people to deal with. So I, I got to head off to Sambuca. That's where I'm headed right now before the sun goes down. This was filmed on my trip to Sicily when searching for one euro homes. It was Sunday and I was traveling from Bavona, which I shared previously, and Sambuca of Sicily, which is the subject of today's video. The adventure I had while driving through the back country of Sicily is one I'll surely not be able to forget. Lesson learned, following Google's advice isn't always best for your well-being, especially when traveling outside the USA. I met some fun locals, in fact, this was the second traffic jam I experienced of this kind, which is just an awesome reminder of how beautiful life really is in Sicily. While following the fastest route, I came across a sign that perhaps you're familiar with. That's right, it means do not enter, but seeing the pallets, I wasn't overly convinced the sign had merit. I decided to trust in Google and proceed, and this is what I experienced. <laughs> well, I'm back. <laughs> Didn't work out. After uh, maybe a kilometer or two, I figured out why this sign is here. Uh, now, I'm not saying that I couldn't have made it. I just don't. I don't own this car, so I am not going to. Uh, risk that this sign is wrong, okay? Um, anyway, so I gotta go the long way around. Coming back, I did jump on Google Street View and discovered some interesting photos into from 2008 and 2010, showing the end of construction of the road I traveled on, as well as its condition just two years later. Now, nine years more, it's no wonder the road needs some maintenance. Hopefully this video gets to the right people and perhaps even encourages them to look into it. This is the perfect example of uh, the road. There's, <laughs> there's this gate right here that keeps you from falling off well they build a new one right there because half that lane is falling into the into the canyon this video isn't to focus on the negative aspects of sicily i'm sure this could happen to any of you so i'm sharing this as an advisory that it would be a great idea to plan your trip by following the principal roads there are plenty of other options i could have taken it just happened to be google's route of choice the coastal roads are well maintained for example on to sambuca Well, I barely made it uh, in time, but luckily there's lights anyway. This is Sambuca di Sicilia, Sicilia, Sicily, Sambuca di Sicily. And uh, there was a, 
an awesome uh, entry. Uh, you saw it on the video, and uh, I was a little confused whether I could pass through that arch, so I, uh, I panicked, but because it's really, really, really tight. Anyway, I'm standing in front of what's uh, basically the old, the old entrance of a, a church or a cathedral that used to be here. I was, I was talking to one of the elderly um, inhabitants of the city and he explained to me that's where it was and some years later they, they built this as a, um, a kind of a memory to, to the original church that was here. Anyway, I'm going to explore a little bit, but the point of this city is that this is one of the first locations that uh, they started publicizing in English, I believe, the cost the one euro homes. And so they had more than a hundred thousand responses or proposals. And at this point they're they're gone. I assume they did not have a hundred thousand houses, so they had plenty to plenty of interest. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go and check out the city. From this, uh, the gate here, I'm going to enter into the older city. Um, there's an awesome architecture. They've got this kind of stuff uh, all over the place in Apulia also. This town. And I'm going to get lost in here because I thought that's the way I was supposed to go. <laughs> Maybe it is. It's very, uh, this is uh, blocked for most cars. I don't see garages and so I'm curious where people park maybe there's a parking garage nearby touring uh, Sambuca at the moment right now I'm in the the historical center I'm trying to see if I can find like the cathedral just to see really what's going on as far as tourism goes I'm in I'm obviously here at a bad moment but it's, it's probably perfect for me since uh, I'm doing these videos, but I'm literally alone in the streets of Sicily. Examples of the reason why they were starting to do the houses for one euro. Um, they have to support some structures because nobody's maintaining them. This used to be a house as well, I assume. But uh, doing this in initiative is going to bring new money into the community and it releases the responsibility from the old owners who either had no interest in share in, in restoring the property or had didn't have the, the the possibility due to money for sale. Anybody want to know? There's a lot of quaint locations. This is kind of uh, the main square, I believe. I expected to see at least a few people, but it is dinner time. Well, it's actually only 5.15. It's getting dark pretty early these days. But I'm going to show you the view here. First of all, there's the Chiesa Madre, the Mother Church. It says it right there. <laughs> and then uh, on the other side, there's this giant section of Sambuca that uh, I didn't even know existed. Pretty big. Years ago, the population of Sambuca was 5,800. I imagine it's not growing and hopefully staying steady. The birth rate in Italy is quite low, and especially in cities like this where uh, there's no fiscal benefit of staying, um, meaning there, there are no jobs, probably. Uh, I don't know specifically about Sambuca. Maybe they're doing a lot better, um, but most of the time, and it, most of the time, young families tend to move to uh, other locations. For example, Milan or Rome or, or Naples. So, I'm enjoying the view. I imagine most people live there now. It's a newer section of the town. It might be in an entirely different town. <laughs> I obviously have no idea, but I'm going to keep exploring a little bit. Like this in the, the exact center of town or the old center of town and there will be some kind of plaza. This one has a smaller plaza and there will usually be businesses. This looks like a coffee shop on the side here and there will usually be ice cream shops and clothing shops nearby. 
Now, this is one of the more populated cities I've been to inside the Sicily, um, inland Sicily. Uh, Palermo was big, as well as T Termini Imerese was a it's pretty decent size. But this one, having near 5,000, 6,000 inhabitants, is one of the larger ones. It, and it has a tourist uh, attraction. So instead of a door, <laughs> they have this window. Um, but it's, it's nice. I don't often check out the cathedrals, but it's one of the main tourist attractions here. So uh, I, this is the back side of that same church. I just wanted to say that uh, it's off, I often see that a portion of the church will have a kind of a destroyed section. His, history tells us that the church was often donated property or in the past even more so they probably forcibly took property to pay debts and things like that but they don't, they don't exactly stay uh, on top of renovations on buildings they don't consider use, useful. It's a terrazzo belvedere it's a terrace. We're going to see what's at the top. Boom! So here we are. It's a much better view of what I was looking at before. Kind of the newer section of Italy, of uh, Sambuca, or maybe I really should check to see if it's a different community. It is cool. You want a cat? I'm curious. If people get married here, <laughs> I could see him doing it. Or how many people have been thrown off? Whoa, that's bright. Can't see anything. Anyway, there's a road down here. Well, it's time to head back and uh, prepare for tomorrow. I have an appointment at 9.30 in Musomeli, which is the main reason we're here to see what the new properties, old, the new old properties, old new properties, uh, which what, what they have available right now. And if it's anything like Sambuca or uh, Bivona, I don't, I, uh, for sure Sambuca had more than 100,000 proposals for their properties. And so I wonder how it's gonna go for Musomeli. I do know that some of them are sold already and uh, for Sambuca, for example, or Bivona, I think followed suit. If there were more than one um, proposal for one, a property, they had a grading system based on the amount of time that you took. You had up to three years, but if someone could do it in a year, they would prioritize and give it to them. Or if you, did, if you wanted to be a resident in the property, that was uh, like five points towards rewarding it to you as opposed to being not a res uh, choosing to not reside there, it would be zero points for you. So, if you have the intention of participating, I imagine Musumeli is gonna follow the same pattern because it, it is publicized and they actually have a really nice website covering all the information. So, it'll be uh, a hot topic for a, a short period. They seem to go pretty fast. Thanks everyone for watching. I'm still amazed by how many great people I've been able to stay in contact with due to this channel. As of the making of this video, we are at 200, just over 200 subscribers. So big thanks goes out to you guys for helping this channel grow faster than I could have expected. And here's to another 200 more, hopefully in the next week. I won't plead with you to subscribe today, but if you're interested, you know where the button is. So for those of you still here, check out the new link on the cover of my channel. I've started a Facebook group for anyone needing some advice or insider information. I'll be adding new information there as it comes, and you're free to post any projects you're working on as well. Thanks again, and I'll see you again soon. I'm standing in front of what I could imagine is uh, one of the one-year-old homes being renovated. Not sure about that. Another one of the one euro uh, renovation projects right here in the middle of town. 
This one's a lot farther ahead. They've uh, refinished the, they've taken the space basically and, and refinished the brick and concrete structure. Looking around, I actually see a lot of uh, piles of sand, like projects go underway. So I wonder if most of them are related to the uh, one euro properties. Um, so here's another property on the main street that needs a renovation. This car, this sign right here just talks about how Sicily is, uh, Europe is um, incentivizing to fix up uh, sin, historical centers and it was talking about hotels and stuff but I think that it was just one of the categories.